What's up, Sunrays? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ray. If you're new here, welcome. Today I am going to be doing a twist out. I have done a couple wash and goes recently, so I wanted to go back to the twist outs. And today I'm going to be using the Poppin' Pineapple Collection. You guys know that I talk about this a lot. So I washed and deep conditioned my hair with the hair wash as well as the mask from this line. Then I added the So So Smooth Leave-In Conditioner in my hair in the shower, so it is already in my hair. And then I'm going to try to use the So So Death Curl Defining Jelly for a twist out. So this is new, so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I have used this jelly before, not this one, but I have used a jelly before for a wash and go. I don't remember using it for a twist out, so I wanted to do that today and see how that works for you guys because you guys know that I am trying to give you some gel options as well as custard options to give a little bit more hold to your twist outs um, to give you longevity and things like that. Probably don't need it as much in the winter time because you're not sweating as much and things like that but if it works in the winter it most likely will work in the summer so maybe it's something you can keep in mind for the warmer months when you're sweating and you just need a little bit more hold so we'll see i'm just giving you some options and i hope that this works well for that so right now the only thing in my hair is the leave-in you can see that my hair is already um, defined it's plump it looks dark it's moisturized it's soft I love how this makes my hair feel and yeah that's why I talk about it so much let me go ahead and take both of these down in the back because I'm going to try to get rid of this middle part so I'm just going to put my hair in thirds in the back I think that's the easiest way to do it instead of trying to go across that's that's me okay and then I'm gonna start over here so like I said the leave-in is already in this collection kind of smells like you know pineapple-y like if you're on a tropical island or something like that it is formulated with vitamin A B1, B6, C. It says for shiny, longer, thick, and healthy curls. So it's supposed to enhance hair growth. It's supposed to increase sebum, which is your scalp's natural oils, and it decreases hair loss. So we're going to see. I can't speak to any of that. I hadn't noticed that or whatever, but Hey, that's what it says it's supposed to do. So I'm going to get a little bit of the gel now. I already have the leave-in in. I'm going to get a little bit of the gel. I don't know how much I need. So I'm just going to start out with that much um, and rub it in my hands and apply it to my hair back here. And I went with that little bit back here because this is the finer texture of my hair, the looser texture, as you can see. It doesn't take a whole lot to, I'm going to get a little bit more. I mean, I'm getting a little bit. You see that? Just a little bit more just to put on these ends because y'all know I like to coat my ends. But this is the looser texture back here, so I don't, don't feel like I need a whole lot back here. Now, I'll probably add more as I get to the top. Now, what I will say about this gel is that it turns watery. So what I mean by that is like now when I'm twisting my hair, it doesn't feel like a lot of, it doesn't feel like it's coated. My hair doesn't feel coated. My hair just feels like wet hair and it starts to run down my hand. So it gets juicy, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure if, um, I'm not sure if you know, if you've ever experienced it before, but if you have, you know what I mean. Some mooses do that there was a moose that did that for me and i'm trying to figure out which one it was but yeah some gels kind of just turn watery this is one of them so you're not gonna it's not gonna feel thick and heavy and like it's coating your strands like a eco or a wet line or even some of the custards the obia and stuff like that they feel like they're coating your strands you can feel the weight of them on your hair this one doesn't. This one feels like you are rubbing, not necessarily water on your hair, but something very thin. And then it, 
when you finish it off, it don't it doesn't feel like anything's on your hair. It kind of has that feeling that you get with a mousse, like you just twisted your hair, but there's not a lot on it. It kind of feels like that, but don't let that scare you. I like it, you know, and I like that it soaks in. You not you don't see any white sitting on my hair. Uh, you can see that it is defining the hair, so. I like that about it and because it's so light I'm hoping that it will dry quickly so this might be another option if you can't necessarily get a mousse to work for you maybe that just doesn't have enough hold maybe this something like this will work it's still light hopefully it'll still dry fairly quickly won't leave a whole lot of residue hopefully and will give you hole that you're looking for so again I'm just using a little bit and I'm hoping it doesn't flake guys so yeah you see what I'm doing I'm just going to finish on this all around my head and I'll come back when all the twists are in okay so I got all the twists in they are nice and juicy and shiny and black. Let's hope they stay that way. Let's hope I take it down and there's no flaking. And let's hope I get a really good twist out that can last for a while. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see where the gel is. Okay, so it looks like it's about right to here. So I didn't use too much. And the leave-in is probably about right to here. So I do. So I definitely have more uses out of it. But again, my hair is very juicy, guys. Very juicy. So I do want to let you know that it's not heavy. The gel's just not sitting on there. It actually kind of like sinks in, dissolves, and then you just have nice juicy twists. They feel like they're dripping a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and clip this out of my face and I'm probably going to I think what I'm gonna do is squeeze out the paper towel guys oh yes look at that <laughs> soaked squeeze out some of this water just so it doesn't drip as much okay I will be back when it's dry so stay tuned for the results Okay guys, so I am back and we are going to start taking down these twists. I will say that the twists feel very soft and moisturized right now. They still look very elongated to me. They didn't feel like they shrunk up a lot like some twists do or some creams or twisting butters or whatever will make your hair shrink up. This didn't do that and I like that. So if you're someone who likes elongated twists, this may be a combination you wanna try. I am not going to separate a lot. I'm just going to separate each one once because it already has that, you know, separated look to me where I don't feel like I need to separate a lot. So yeah. Okay, so let me go ahead and get these down. I'm going to speed this up, and then I'll come back and we'll talk about the products. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling Okay guys, so that is all the separating that I'm going to do um, I do want to say that my hair is very soft. It is a very Defined as you can see. I mean the coils are coiling Okay, the coils are coiling and I can definitely separate a lot more and get my hair bigger But I don't want to do that. I want to just go ahead and do that as the days go on Now what I will say I want to give you a tip. So for me, you don't see me 
pick my hair a lot. I used to, to try to get it bigger and everything, but I noticed that when I pick it, it would get bigger down in the roots and then just be on the ends, and that's fine. Uh, for some people, but I started to not like that as much because so after days of that, it just got to where I wanted to re-twist my hair or whatever to kind of get those roots not to be so puffy and tangled. And I just felt like that's where I would get a lot of shed hairs just caught up in there and everything. So I try not to do that anymore. So for me to get my hair bigger is I just continually to separate. The more you separate your twist, the bigger it's going to get and i think i've said this before i actually think i did a video not long ago if i can remember which one it was i'll try to link it but i remember doing a video where i showed you guys how i just keep separating and then people will say my hair don't look right it's frizzy in places and it's not frizzy in other places and blah 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 and i said just keep separating keep separating keep separating the more you separate the more uniform your hair is going to look if you only separate you know so much and then you get a little frizz here and there and then that's it it is going to look like oh here's frizz and then that's defined or whatever just keep separating your hair get bigger and it'll start to kind of blend together where it doesn't look like it's so frizzy so i remember maybe i'm not explaining it right some of you probably remember if you're new here you may not but i'll try to find the video so you can see but anyway so that's what i do so i'm not going to pick it to get it bigger it will expand uh over the days as i get up and fluff it and continue to uh pull apart these coils so like if i was to pull this apart it would make it even bigger and things like that but i'm not going to do that so just wanted to let you know that okay the other thing I think you probably could notice is that I did get just a little bit of dusting and it's not in my hair at all. So I think it was just the little light cast of this breaking off as I was untwisting my hair because my hair is very soft, but you can tell that it has a slight, a slight, a slight hold. It's not crunchy at all, but it does have a slight hold. It's enough to let me know that this uh, twist out definitely will last me some days. But um, there is a little bit of dusting, so I do want to be transparent there. I'll try to zoom in if I can. I know the camera is kind of low. Let me see if I can do that. So maybe you guys can see down here on the blue. So we'll see. But um, it's not enough for me to complain about because, like I said, I don't see it in my hair at all. At least not up here. Hopefully when I go outside you don't see it um let me know if you guys notice it in the camera but i'll definitely once i'm editing i'll be able to tell but my hair is still movable it feels light it doesn't feel heavy it's very defined it's elongated uh, of course i can make it look longer and bigger if i was to stretch it but like i said i'm not going to do that so for me let me just say this so let's go ahead and just talk about the products the so so leave-in i love it if you saw my hair when I first started twisting it, it was moisturized, it looked dark, it looked luscious, it looked somewhat already defined. So I love this leave-in. I have used it with other products and it works really well. The gel, I like the gel as well. It is a lighter hold gel, but it definitely does hold. As you can see, it definitely defines the curls. I've used it for a wash and go. I'll leave that video here. Um, I think that was my first time using it as a wash and go and I thought it turned out pretty good. Now that I know how it works, hope I'm going to try to use it for a wash and go again, see if I can get even better results. We're going to see, but I definitely liked it for the wash and go as well. Get me big fluffy hair. Um, I also like it for this twist out and that's what I was trying to see. Would this give me the whole, the elongation? The movement that you want in a twist out and not weigh the hair down not make it feel real hard and real stiff and it didn't do that so for those of you who want just a tad bit more hold um, I would say try this on top of like your twisting cream or on top of your leave-in that may have a little bit of hold to it you may even be able to um, put it on top of a mousse um to see if that helps with a twist out you know however you do it i would say get pick it up give it a try and see something light like this if you're not into using ecos or wet lines for twist outs but you just want a little bit something some type of um 
a light gel like this may just do the trick for you. So I wanted to bring that to you, show you what it could do, what my hair looks like after using it. And this is what my hair looks like. Like I said, I'm not gonna uh, untwist a lot more. I could and get it shaped a little bit better, but I'm just gonna let it be for now. And my hair is growing, so it's kind of growing out of a shape that I like anyway. Guys, I always say, your hair is always the same length. It's because this tail grows, I cut it, and then I start cutting everything else to get that shape that I like again. Uh, people say, who cut your hair and what shape is that? It's like, I don't get a professional cut, I just do it myself. And my hair is probably really uneven, but a lot of times you can't tell because of how I wear it, but I usually try to cut it in a shape. And it's growing out of that, as you can see, but I'm gonna try not to cut it. I'm gonna try not to cut it and see see what it does. But anyway, guys, that's it. Um, okay, guys, just popping in to show you third day hair using the Poppin' Pineapple Leave-In and Curl Defining Jelly for my twist out. So this is it, third day hair. I did, um, you know, take big twists and twist it last night just to stretch it a little bit. And I will say that it did stretch it. I also will say that I ended up giving myself, you know, a little bit of frizz on the ends. Um, not everywhere. Some of my hair is still very much defined, but um, over here kind of on the edges and over here a little bit. But all in all, my hair is still very soft. It's still moisturized. Would I recommend these products for a twist out? I would, especially if you're someone who wants just a tad bit more hold and um, you like soft hair and you like definition, but you're not someone who's trying to get seven days out of it. Now, could I get seven days out of it? I probably could. Do I want to get seven days out of it? No, for me. And I think for someone who tries to stretch it seven days, if your hair is similar to mine, that um, before that seven days is up, you're probably gonna have to re-moisturize it. So, you know, you weigh that. Are you someone who re-moisturize and twist anyway between your week? Or are you someone who wants it to take it down day one and go all the way through day seven with no moisture or anything, you just want it to last? If that's you, then I would probably say no to this. That's what I'm thinking, but again, I haven't gone seven days, so I can't say, but I'm thinking no. But if you're someone who normally moisturizes in between, then I say that this would be good because day three and then maybe day four, you um, add just a little bit more leave-in or whatever and retwist it, I think you probably would be fine. But yeah, this is my hair. Um, I think in the very beginning when I was taking it down, I got just a tad bit of dusting but nothing that I saw in my hair and nothing that I saw after that. So I think it was just this, the gel cast breaking off as I was undoing my twist. But my hair looks fine, uh, doesn't have anything in it. It's not overly shiny, but it's not dull, dull or whatever either. So I like these. I probably would use these again for a twist out for me, someone who only keeps my twist so many days. And um, yeah, just wanted to bring it to you. So. You guys let me know what you think. Have you used the set for a twist out? Um, do you use them for a wash and go? I plan on revisiting these products for a wash and go as well. Don't know when I'll get to it, but I do plan on revisiting it for a wash and go. But I definitely wanted to bring different options for twist out. So, yeah guys, this is my hair. Still a lot of definition for sure. A little bit more frizz on this side, but... I can live with it and I like the bigness of it. So now back to the video. That's it. Tell me what you think about this twist out. Uh, let me know if you've used these products. If you have, what did you use them for? Was it a twist out? Was it a wash and go? Let me know if um, you've tried them with other products and if you have, which products were those? Leave all that in the comment section below so we all can learn from you. And guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.